I have been doing this here uh, in Washburn for 14 years now. Uh, my name is Craig Puchette. I own the bait shop in Washburn, Outdoor Allure. Uh, we opened up from scratch. There was not a bait shop in Washburn uh, in uh, oh, what, the late 90s. And uh, we've been here ever since. It's, uh, it's a pretty unique area of the country. I love it. As you can see, there's a lot of wilderness, a lot of wildlife. Uh, it gets pretty boring and lonely unless you ice fish or drink. And since I don't go to the bars anymore, I do a lot of ice fishing. Well, as you can see, the Apostle Islands and Lake Superior are, uh, are a pretty interesting structure. There's 22 islands out here. The scale of this map is a little, uh, it, it's hard to understand until you realize that Madeline Island here is 14 miles long. So there's a lot of islands, there's a lot of water, there's a lot of structure in the biggest lake in the world, which is very deep and basically structureless. That's why there's good fishing around here. Where you find structure, you're going to find the fish. The Apostle Islands are the structure. We have good lake trout. We have every, every other species of trout. Uh, salmon, herring, whitefish, uh, walleyes and northerns even in Schwamigan Bay. Uh, the fishing can be real good in the biggest lake in the world. So if you've never tried it, it's worth giving it a shot. Come on up, uh, OutdoorAllure.com, our website has fishing reports. Uh, we ice fish and we fish uh, all spring, summer and fall as well. Uh, so if you're looking to try out some fishing that's not too far from home, uh, that's some unique, unique body of water, uh, certainly look us up on the web, give us a call here at the shop, 373-0551, area code 715. Uh, we can hook you up if you want to trailer up your own boat and do it yourself. Uh, or if you want to hire me or one of the other local guides, we can certainly show you some of our spots and some of the techniques we use to fish this water. Uh, it doesn't have to be intimidating. Once you break it down, uh, anyone can catch fish on Lake Superior. It's definitely worth a try. You know, uh, there's certain days when the current is blowing real hard. Uh, it's difficult to see your bait on the Vexlar. But even when that happens, you still need to have your Vexlar when you're out here. Uh, because it tells you whether there's fish underneath you or not. Yep. Uh, even if you can't see your bait, you still know when those fish are coming through and you know if they're on the bottom or five feet up or 10 feet up, or uh, I think Tom caught a fish today that was 20 feet up off the bottom that he reeled up to. Uh, so it's real nice to have these deep water vexlars that'll allow us to fish in 300 feet of water and still and still know what's going on down there. Absolutely, I mean, it's such a thing as this guy, for example, he came in, Saw him sitting there, but then I saw his buddy come in. I knew to hold on. With two fish down there, you knew one of them was going to bite. Had that not been down, I wouldn't have known it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's a good thing that uh, it's a good thing that they have that deep water chip for these FL 18s. Uh, you can get the deep water chip in the FL 8, and it works fine. But when you're in this depth of water, those lines are so tiny on the FL 8 that the 18 just makes a world of difference. It makes it a whole lot easier to see. You and, magnify it, you can really tell what's going on down there. Mm -hmm. You know, what's moving which way. But uh, even in the in the shallower depths out here in the in the 150 range, they come in they come in so handy out there. I mean, just that extra power on there combined with the zoom and everything else, it, it's just one of those tools that you have to have out here. We'll have to get these guys back here and show them the whitefish bite with the Vexlar. You know, uh, people have caught whitefish out here for years, one here, one there. But uh, when you can have a fish come in in 80, 90 feet of water and chase that bait all the way up and bite it 10 feet below the ice, the only way you can do that is with the Vexlar. And uh, it's a real fun way to fish. And uh, that whitefish fishery is actually kind of underutilized, but the few guys who do it are addicted to it. And they do it all the time because it's fun to be able to work a fish and watch him working on the Vexlar and then actually have him bite up off the bottom after you've worked him. And uh, without the Vexlar, you just you can't do it. When you watch them come up the zoom side, and they disappear, and you watch on the right side of the screen, and they just keep following on up, it's a, just a neat Action. thing. This fish right here was done by uh, uh, our local taxidermist. It is a reproduction of a 38-incher that was released ice fishing. So uh, you can see what the size potential is for these fish out here. This fish is still swimming. It could be 45 inches right now. And it's out there waiting for you.
Wow. These new solo motors that Strike Master has put on their augers are just incredible. We use a lot of 10 inch holes up here in Lake Trout Country. Big water, big fish, we need to cut a big hole. And these motors have so much power, they don't bog down, uh, they fire right up, they're smooth, and they've got more torque than I've ever used on a power auger. The tackle you'll need for fishing out here in this real deep water on Lake Superior, or actually any other place they fish really deep water, like on the eastern end of Lake Superior and some of the places on Lake Michigan when they get good ice, uh, is fairly specialized gear. It's not the type of gear you're gonna find everywhere. Uh, we start off with a 15 to 30 pound uh, liter. You can use fluorocarbon, uh, or I prefer uh, Berkeley's Big Game, because it has a little bit of stretch and gives you a little shock absorption. Uh, we match that with a swivel to 30 to 50 pound braid. Uh, I like Power Pro, but uh, Fireline uh, works well. Cortland's Master Braid works well, but it has to be a no stretch line because when you're fishing in this deep of water, getting a positive hook set is key. Uh, the reason we go with bait casting rods and reels over spinning is for the simple reason that you can palm that reel, you can lock this long butt under your arm, and you have a much better control over the rod, and you have a much better control over your hook sets on the fish. Uh, if you're using a spinning rod and reel like this, you can see how your wrist could get fatigued real easy, and on a big strike, you can. I have seen guys lose rods down the hole. Uh, that's, that's the only reason we use the bait casters. It's just because they work better. They're more efficient. Um, this happens to be the Jason Mitchell 36-inch uh, Mackinac rod that myself uh, and fellow guy Jim Hudson helped design uh, with Jason's help. It has the spiral eye system. The eyes actually wrap around the blank. And what that does is when you've got a big fish on there and this rod's under real heavy load, it helps distribute that load along the blank uh, so you get less twist in your blank and less rod breakage as a result. So uh, the kind of gear that we use here uh, isn't really commonly available everywhere. Uh, we've got it at Outdoor Allure. If you're having trouble finding this stuff or you need some tips or tricks as to what's going to work in the deep water where you're fishing or if you're going to come up here, uh, just give us a call at Outdoor Allure or look us up on the web at OutdoorAllure.com. Uh, we can answer your questions and if you can't find the stuff, we can get it to you.